It's like a plant that's like withering. I have plants. You have trees, and when they when they lose their, they get, they get very sad. You have to you have to lengthen. You have to pull in opposite directions. You have to go for length. The the posture, even though we're holding it, you're not holding it. You're elongated. It's not like static. Okay, down the dog. Let's get rid of this. Okay, you're sliding. Fine, then use it. Get down with it. It's a pro. <laughs> Get down with it. Okay, so put your heels on the wall to begin with. All the way on the wall. Okay, so, so when I look at your arms, so I don't want to spend too much time because I can't let it go. <laughs> I, I don't want to see these forearms turn. You see the shoulders are turning. Okay. So, so you need, okay, I don't, can you be able to, I don't think this is helping. Okay. I don't think this is helping you. This is a freaking sticky mat. Okay. And now, now go to downward. Now go to downward. Downward. Okay. Down push one Yes. You have to, you have to be firm here. Okay, but you're, 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 you're sitting. I need you to, I need you to use your legs to lengthen. Okay, yeah, that's marginally better, okay? So from here to here, use your legs to elongate. Elongate doesn't mean going down. Elongate means you take these front ribs to your frontal pelvic bones. Okay, but use your, oh, okay. No, I need to move to one, to other one, maybe this. Okay, try to get one. Your side, okay, fine. This is pretty sticky. It, yeah? This, you got, you yeah. got a, I, I have a good grip. You me. got a good grip, okay. Let's do it. <laughs> I want you to lengthen. Okay, and watch your ankles, outer ankles in. Okay, so now, we don't lengthen by going like this. That's how we break. Yes, we lengthen by going, and go with me, my God, by going that way. Maybe I can use the bed to my arms? No, it's okay. We're, we're moving. I don't want to do this for too long. This was yesterday's class. Okay, now you're going to look straight forward. Just look straight. Look, look straight forward. But I want the height. I want, I want legs. Ah. Okay, and now put your right foot between your hands. And you're going to put the back heel on the floor for Virabhadrasana 1. So put the back heel down on the ground. Okay, but go back. Okay, so when you put your heel on the ground, I don't want you to do this with your hips. I just want you to put your heel on the floor. Put your heel on the floor, so Virabhadrasana 1, and, and all the way to the floor. And, and your hips should not move to do that. Okay? They shouldn't move to do that. Okay, now we did this in the earlier class today, so we're starting in a high lunge, but I want your foot a little closer. Now, wait. Now, even though your knee's over your ankle, I want your shin bone, it's an action, not a movement, to go to the wall. So your shin bone goes to the wall, but not your butt. It's an action. Not a movement. You should feel like this woke up. Okay, now with an inhalation, put your thumbs on your butt and inhale. But I want your back heel on the floor. I want your back heel on the floor. And you could turn the foot a bit more like that. Okay. And let's put your and your thumbs on your butt. Okay. 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 Stage one. Keep this leg straight ahead. This groin soft. Okay, don't lift this groin up. And now use your hands to pick up the pelvis and you can keep your torso facing straight ahead. So the knee is in line with the second toe. It doesn't wobble, so I want weight in your heel. No wobbling. And then come this way, everyone, so come and look. Now, I want only this butt to start to unravel forward. Only this butt, unravel it. You can keep your thumbs here. So your thumbs are pressing the butt and this is lifting up. 
So this is going down, this is lifting up. And this buttock, it, easy man, easy man, unravel it forward. Okay, and then we'll take the arms up, interlace your thumb like I showed earlier. Fingers straight up to the ceiling. And then I want space here. From your butt low, up, up, not full, up. And then unravel this, but ah, unravel this without turning this knee open. So it's like this whole, this butt wants to touch this inner knee, but put the weight in your heel, not in your toes. In your heel. Okay, and we'll release and we'll do downward dog. Okay, so when you do this, you're, I shouldn't see the weight in your toes like that. <coughs> it has to go into the heel. So you should be able to lift this up easily. The weight is in the heel to protect the front of your knees. That's good. Uh, 